to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. We're going to be making this beautiful peplum blouse and this trendy sleeve to complete our tutorial from last week. In case you missed that, I'm sure you would want to check it out to make your pants in order to complete your outfit. Quickly, we're going to be needing uh, on the bust half length and full length. We'll be needing the shoulder sleeve the round sleeve, the bust circumference, and the under bust circumference measurements. Of course, you're going to be needing your materials as well, like your fabric, your lining, your stay, your, your thread, scissors, tape rule, and the rest of it. So if this is your first time on this channel, remember to click the subscribe button. Do well to click the bell as well to get notified each time I upload a new video. So let's move to the cutting table. The first thing we're going to be doing is to cut out the half length and the measurements we are working with are length on the bust is 12 half length is 15 and the full length is 23 the shoulder measurement 14 and we have the bust 34 on that bust circumference 26 waist is 28 to the circumference measurement to we'll add 8 inches and divide the sum by 4 it's same as your measurement divided by 4 plus 2. This 34 plus 8, that's 42, divided by 4, we have 10.5. For under bus, we have 8.5 and we have 9 inches. So working with 10.5 inches plus 2 inches, and that's because it's a um, princess that's bustier. So for every bustier, we had 2 inches. So now we have 12.5 inches. So we are folding 12.5 inches, which I have folded. The next thing is to mark out the length. We have 12 inches. So I'll make it 13 because of our sewing allowance. And 15 is half length, now becomes 16 inches. Arm all length is 8.5. And because it's a princess that bustier, yeah, we will work with 9.5 inches. These are on the bust while this is our half length. So we are going to be working with these as the bust points. Now, the first thing is we are going to be hiding the extra two inches that was added. Now, all our measurements start from this very line. We have the shoulder divided by two, that is seven inches, seven. The bar circumference is 10.5, so it will be taken under the 9.5 inches. Starting from this line, we have a 10.5. Underbust circumference is 8.5 inches, which will be below the underbust length. Starting from this line, here's our 8.5 inches. Now to connect this, we have this. And the next thing we are going to be doing is to get the midpoint on, on the ham hole, which is um, 4.25. And on that point, we come in by 0.5. Now, if we are going to be connecting, we are going to connect the bust point from this, from the 9.5 inches, just like this. Now, the next thing is to bring out the princess that, and that is going to be from the center front, this very edge. The princess that measurement has to do with the bust pan for this measurement is seven so i go with 3.5 inches it's 3.5 inches because it is folded so on the arm hole you can decide to go with any measurement of your choice from 3 3.5 4 4.5 5 5.5 for me i'll go with four inches so i am going to be connecting like this Now, from the under bust length, we also need to get the nipple point, and for this measurement, it is three inches. It varies though, you can take the measurement as well from the shoulder to get the nipple point. 
all right so from the under bust it is three inches for this measurement so here is our nipple point now from this very line we are going to take 1.5 from the base to stop at the under bust while on the nipple point it is going to be 0 0.5 and here on the armhole it's one inch we are going to connect the points like this the next thing to do is to cut out i mean draft out the neck design the neck line your neck design can be any design of your choice for me i'll be going with a round round neck and I'll go with 3.5 as the depth and 2.5 inches as the width. This also is starting from this very edge. And it's a round neck. This does not mean you have to go with a round, round shape. You can go with square. You can go with V, scoop, jewel, any one of your choice. Now on the arm hole, I'm taking one inch for the shoulder slant. And we're going to connect from, from the neck line to the arm hole. I'm going to cut this, then we'll use this to cut out the back. To draft the back, all you need to do is place the front. And because for the back, we need a zipper allowance. So we are fine with the extra two that we have here on the front. So just place the front and sketch out what you have here on the pattern the only difference is going to be on the ham hole for the back it is straight so i'll just connect so now we can trace it out next is the neckline for the back and to do that, remember we use 2.5 inches as the width. So plus the extra 2 inches for zipper allowance, it becomes 4.5 inches. And the depth, you can go with any depth of your choice as well, but preferably 1 inch. So I'm going to curve it out like this. On the shoulder, I mean the arm hole, we also slant with one inch like this now our princess that for the back the measurements we used here is 3.5 inches still maintaining the 3.5 inches but because we have extra two inches added it becomes 5.5 inches And on the arm hole, we have a four inches to connect. Now, another thing is here at the zipper space, we need to come in by one inch, and that's because we do not want any bulge at the back. So for that, you can measure, measure to measure your back. You see the point where it goes in, just like a slant or a curve. So you're going to measure, and for me, it is 8 inches. So that at that point, I go in by 1 inch. From the top, I connect, I'll connect to the 1 inch and also to the base. So now we can cut. So whatever we have cut out, we're going to be placing it on our fabric to cut. For the back, I'll be cutting two of these. We have two of these for the front and we have the middle piece as well for the front. Having done that, I have the front and the back. 
So we are going to be cutting out our lining and also our stay the same way it is. Just place your fabric, cut out the lining and cut out the stay for both the front and the back. Also, to continue with the front, we have our pattern. And now we are going to reduce the shoulder measurement. Shoulder is um, 14 inches and that is 7 inches. which we are going to cut out. We are going to place it on the fabric and we are cutting out straight. Let me rule this out. So it has to be straight all the way. So we are cutting out everything that we have here on the neckline, then straight down like this. the flare and I have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flare from single double the full flare that's from the 90 degree the 180 degree 360 720 1440 like that like that so you can go for any flare of your choice for me I'll be going with the 360 degree flare which I have folded so my flare has been folded like I said you can go for any flare of your choice So you watching the tutorial, it's really going to help you on how to go about the measurements and you get the full details on the description. I think is on the, the link is on the description. So now we are going to cut this part because it falls to the back. I am also going to iron my flare. I mean, iron my stay. You can decide to go with um, the hair stay, the your bff or even paper stay or gum stay that's if you want it standing if you want your place standing you can go with gum stay you can add crinoline to the base just go with anything you desire so now to cut out the sleeve i already have my basic sleeve which is the long one i have my long sleeve and this is um the measurement of 17 by 20. now the 17 inches has to do with how much you want um your pleat to fall on the hem just something like this i wish i can okay so depending on how much you want it to fall on the hem just something like this and you also have your allowance that is um the 17 inches here plus my allowance and the 20 inches is a pleat because I am going to pleat it just like this, like this, like this. So I am going to pleat it out and make sure I high on it before placing my stay. I'll be using a paper stay for this. So I'll first pleat, iron it out. Then the way it is high on, I'll high on my stay on it so in order to hold the pleat. I'll go and do all that then I'll come back to the next thing. I need to explain how to join. Here is the front part that we cut, you know, we placed it to cut out the neckline and all. So all you need to do is place it on the front part. But first, I used uh, my hemming gum to, I ironed it on the sides in order to, to hide the hedges. So you're going to place the front like this. And then we have the lining. We're going to place the lining on it as well to join the neck together and then we turn this on the inside just like this after that we are going to join the fabric for the sides and i am also going to join the lining to the lining so for the back as well i am going to join the princess that then we'll come back to show us the next thing now, after we have joined the front and the back and the shoulder as well, the next thing to do is open it up, you know, you spread it. And then the flare that has been joined, we are going to join it to the base, just like this. We're going to join it. And then we move to the sleeve. Now, here is the basic sleeve. Here 
that is the basic sleeve all you just need to do is join bring out the round sleeve measurements and the pleated one you can see i have pleated it and i high on my stay on it in order to hold it all i need to do now is cut out my lining you place the lining on it you join you join you're going to join and then you join so you leave this little space in order to turn it inside out so once that is done you're going to turn it and this is what you're going to have now i'm going to place the splits just like this just like this i'm sorry I'm going to place it in this manner so that when i'm joining when i'm joining the sleeve i'm going to join this to this side and i'm going to join the other side to this side as well so that i can then join the sleeve to the main dress okay so i'm going to do that and i'll show us what um the final result is i'm going to join it just like this we have come to the end of our tutorial now you can see the house form of our blouse here's the front and the back i'm sure you want to give it a try so go ahead and make yours do not forget to leave your questions in the comment section and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel go ahead click the subscribe button remember to click the bell as well till i see you next class